Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. You might be able to hear I have a little frog in my throat. So this week's vlog is going to be just a little bit shorter than the last. Um, I've been under the weather this week and just trying to squeeze in as much rest as I can. Um, so obviously that was not very fun and exciting to share with you. Um, but I think just maybe a little, we're on the up and up. So as you just saw, I just did a little restorative yoga to relax and stretch my body out a little bit. Um, and I'm going to run a bath um, with some magnesium flakes and just soak soak everything. I'm feeling very sore from all of the nose blowing and coughing, so I just need a bath to um, rejuvenate and hopefully that'll help me feel a little bit better. In a chaotic turn of events, we are now at Ikea. It is 8 p.m. on Friday. We are working off of one car right now because Matt's car is going through <laughs> some things. So um, we're working off one car and we're trying to coordinate schedules for the weekend and I've been selling chairs in the front sitting room so that I can get a sofa for there. Instead, I wanted to get the couch this weekend and it just so happens this is the only time we can go. So, here we are, last minute shopping. We're gonna go sit our butts on two couches that I was looking at, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, they have it in stock, and we can load up the trailer, and bring it home in the rain. So this is the dupe of the couch we currently have from Ikea. It was like redesigned as the Fanala. When we bought it, it was a different name, but it's essentially the exact same design, just with slight measurement differences. But this is one option we're thinking of. Almost to the end. It's the longest walk to the warehouse ever. Okay, so this is the couch, but we want to chase. We could not find it in the showroom, so we are risking it for the biscuit. We're gonna go find it, we're gonna buy it, and if we hate it, we'll bring it back. That's the great thing about Ikea. So, we're going on a little adventure. Okay, <laughs> good thing we brought the trailer. Honey, you can't go that way. Yeah. This <laughs> way? Yeah. You gotta go sideways. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It's huge. At least it's all self contained. Yeah, but like it's all plastic together. I don't. This is going to be ridiculous. <laughs> like, if they just brought that forklift out here, that'd be great. No. -uh. Matt. You want to give it a little push? <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh my god. So how do we get it off the... <laughs> oh my god. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... How, do, how was that so easy? Were you like killing your back? No. Oh my gosh. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this and then you're going to slide the car underneath. boxes are inside they're sitting back in the sitting room and that's tomorrow's problem <laughs> I need to get to bed I am pooped 
I know people are shaking their head at me. I know <laughs> who is shaking their head at me. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I overdid it, but I'm not feeling 100%. So we're gonna get a good night's sleep. We're gonna sleep in, we're gonna rest our body and we're gonna start tomorrow fresh and feeling good. I, I know it, I'm gonna feel much better tomorrow. Thanks for coming with us on this insane adventure. <laughs> Thank you to Matt for just getting in the car and going. feeling a little bit better. I've taken a shower. I feel refreshed. I put on some comfy clothes and we are in the sitting room. We're going to attempt to build this couch that we just picked up. Um, so yes, <laughs> I have pivoted a little bit. <laughs> um, this is just how my brain works. Like I see an opening and I like pivot real quick. Um, so we used to have four chairs in this room. I loved all of them so much, but it was just too tight in this room and we never came in here to sit. It was mostly the dog's room. And if I have a room in a house, I want it to be useful. I want it to be purposeful. So I decided to sell all of those chairs and pivot to a smaller sort of sectional with like a chase. We'll be more likely to use this room if we have a place that we enjoy sitting. So. That's why this all happened so quickly. I was able to sell all four chairs on Facebook Marketplace this week. Um, and I wanted to jump on the opportunity because we ended up canceling our little trip we were going on this weekend because I wasn't feeling great. And naturally in my mind, that means, oh, you have free time now. You need to capitalize on that. <laughs> so that's what we did. Um, Matt had to run to work today. So I'm going to attempt to put this together myself. Um, I've done it before. So I feel confident that I can do it again. Um, the only question is whether or not we will like the couch because we weren't able to see it in real life. They didn't have a tester like on the floor. Um, but I went with my gut and I risked it because I really liked the style. Um, the other alternative was to get the same couch in like a smaller size that we have in the other living room. And I do love it, but I feel like this was an opportunity to switch things up. So. Fingers crossed, <laughs> I don't wanna have to return it, but we can if we need to. Just for reference, this is the space. So we used to have two oversized chairs facing each other here, and then we had two chairs facing out. We have a fireplace that's not hooked up right here. So I wanted something that faced the fireplace that opened up this area in the middle a little bit, just because this is a main like walking path, um, and just was a little more comfortable for all of us to sit on. So like, honestly, this is my favorite room in the house. I love like all the, original molding and like these are all original windows and I just love this space. It's so beautiful and bright. I want to turn it into a space that I'll just like naturally come here and plop down, read a book, play a game, work from whatever it is.
here she is. I am obsessed. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, I have to fluff the back pillows a little bit. They're looking a bit lumpy and I need to steam the skirt. But I'm very happy with it. It's like on the firmer side, but we're both, we both like that. Especially because like the dogs are always on the couch. Gosh, those are so lumpy. I gotta fix that. Um, and it'll break in. But yes, very pleased with it. Love the color. Um, all the covers are removable, which is why I can get away with light colored couches. Because I can wash them. And I don't know if I'll keep this here forever, but I do like it for now. It's nice and small, and I like that it's a little bit taller. So we're going to keep that there. The next step is to break down all of these enormous boxes that I've just shoved in the hallway. So let's get to it. actually cut everything up and then taped them into like bundles and I'm gonna save all this cardboard to use for weed barrier in the spring as we start to build out some garden beds this is great because there's no tape on it um, there's no like printing or glossy like anything on it it's just like pure cardboard so this is perfect to use as a weed barrier and it's free and it's huge so this will give us a lot of square footage and instead of having to recycle it we can repurpose it one last thing before I call it quits for today, I'm going to steam the skirt here. Um, I bought this steamer actually when we went to St. Lucia last year because um, it has like, it's like convertible voltage, so it goes from 120 to 240. Um, and it's just like a slightly smaller handheld size. It actually folds up, let me show you, like nice and flat, like this, so it's like easy for packing. And then you can bend head so it's more like a handheld angled position um, and we really liked this so I figured I would test it out on something a little bit bigger um, and get this all nice and smoothed out and then I am probably going to post up on the new sofa and probably take a nap but I want to play some Harry Potter <laughs> but I'm stuck in a room right now and I can't get out so I need Matt's help so I may have to poke him to help me get out of that that um the area the castle i'm stuck in I love that steamer. It's honestly, it does such a great job and it works so quickly. I did have to refill it four times to get all the way around the couch, but um, it it just, it's got like such a powerful steam, so it really does get all the wrinkles out. Um, so now that that's done, I'm going to relax the rest of the night, get my feet up, eat a good dinner, and get a good night's sleep so that I can feel even better tomorrow. actually it is 1 30 on Sunday afternoon and I have been editing all morning so 
I think I'm gonna wrap the vlog up here because I still have a few things I need to get done this afternoon. I've just been sitting on the sofa enjoying the snowfall from this room and I am in heaven. <laughs> I love it so much. I've also been watching um, Harry Potter ambiance. I'm a Harry Potter nerd and I often put on little ambiance videos from YouTube so I will drop the link to the one I was watching today. If you just love like a little like background noise and like a, a moving picture, it's a lot of fun to put those on in the background when you're working. Uh, so next week I'm going to repot a plant or two. I'm also going to show you how I take clippings um, to grow new plants from some of my bigger indoor plants. I'm going to visit my sister and pick up the seeds from our big order, so I'll take you along, show you everything we picked out, and I, I haven't made any moves in the office yet, I'm still working on my Pinterest board, it might be in good shape to show you some of the progress I've made, I'm not sure yet, um, but I am holding off on taking the desk out because I'm still using that space, so I want to maximize it until we're ready to actually start working. As you saw, um, I just showed a little clip of our indoor garden. So our pak choy and I think the chives are starting to pop up. Actually, one of each, the chives and the, forget the other thing I grew. Um, they're starting to pop up, so that's really exciting. Um, the pak choy is growing really, really fast. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe in the next week or two, we'll actually be able to harvest some of that. We'll see. Thank you for joining me on this couch adventure and bearing with me while I've been a little bit under the weather. Lots more to come next week. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for future updates. I will drop any links to anything I mentioned in this video, including the sofa, the steamer. Um, I'll drop all those links down in the description below, so if you are looking for them, make sure to check there, and I will catch up with you in the next vlog. Mm -hmm.